Welcome to the 2016 Military Committee press conference in Split, Croatia. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Robert Koster, Public Affairs and Strategic Advisor to the Chairman of the NATO Military Committee, and I will be moderating today's press conference. This press conference will be simultaneously translated by Major Vesna uh, Ivekovic, so I would ask you to speak clearly and slowly when asking your questions and leave some breaks so I can translate easily. Before we start, let me introduce me to the Chairman of NATO Military Committee, General Peter Pavel, and the Chief of General Staff of the Croatian Armed Forces, General Mirko Sundov. The generals will deliver their opening remarks, which will be followed by a short question and answer ses session. Please raise your hand when you uh, want to address the generals, and I will hand you the floor. When you ask your question, please state your name and media affiliation. Thank you for your cooperation, General Pavel. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and uh, thank you for coming tonight. I will uh, now uh, present you with uh, the outcomes of uh, the Military Committee Conference 2016. Today's meeting was an opportunity to bring together uh, the Chiefs of Defense uh, of the Allied countries, the two strategic uh, commanders, uh, and uh, the invited country Montenegro, to deliberate uh, on the implementation of the decisions uh, made by the heads of states and government uh, in the NATO summit in Warsaw this July. Uh, since uh, the Wales summit in 2014, uh, NATO has been adapting institutionally, politically, and militarily to reflect uh, the dynamic security environment and range of challenges emanating from state and non-state actors. The Alliance uh, needs to have uh, the right capabilities, forces and resources to deter and defend against any threat and counter all contingencies. Much has already been achieved, but uh, further or rather continuous adaptation is necessary. We uh, begin today by paying the tribute to all the soldiers uh, who are part uh, of NATO operations, missions and activities around the world. Soldiers, airmen and sailors uh, play a crucial part in contributing to peace and security and uh, they deserve to be remembered, uh, their sacrifice and their courage. In this morning session we reviewed uh, the whole spectrum of military adaptations uh, since uh, Wales Summit and in light of the recent decisions uh, made in Warsaw. The Chiefs of Defense emphasized the importance uh, of a coherence between the short and long-term adaptation measures, solidarity among the allies, and the need for closer cooperation with international organizations as more and more regional security challenges have global implications. In this afternoon's meetings, uh, discussions uh, focused on the NATO-led operations, missions, and activities. To protect our territory and populations, we must also project stability beyond our borders. We begin by reviewing a resolute support mission, our largest operational engagement in Afghanistan, to train, assist and to advise Afghan Defense Forces, and that mission will be extended beyond 2016. The Chiefs of Defense welcomed uh, the announcement uh, uh, that nations will contribute to its funding through 2020 and stressed uh, the need uh, for it to remain conditions-based and flexible. We also highlighted the success of our K4 mission, uh, which contributes uh, to a safe and secure environment in the region. And we also remain fully committed uh, to stability and security of uh, the Western Balkans. Today's meeting has followed for, uh, 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 sorry, has allowed for a frank and fruitful exchange of views uh, that uh, will enable us to better translate uh, political, uh, political guidance uh, and tasking into military strategy. In conclusion, let me thank uh, General Shundov uh, for hosting uh, the Military Committee Conference in uh, Croatia. 
Uh, we uh, see Croatia as a committed ally and we are grateful for the contributions uh, your country is making to our shared security. We have uh, really appreciated the generosity of uh, your people and the chance uh, to discover the uh, beautiful city of Split. Thank you once again for your hospitality and now I will pass the floor to you, Mirko. Thank you, Mr. General. Thank you, Peter. Dobro večer svima, dame i gospodo. Evo, ja vam se zahvaljujem da ste iskazali zanimanje i interes za ovu našu konferenciju za medije. Republika Hrvatska je po prvi put domaćin ovakve jedne konferencije i vjerojatno će to možda biti za najmanje 29 godina ili ako se NATO proširi na 30 i nešto članica, onda će biti i dulje. Grad Split se pokazao još jednom kao prekrasan grad gdje svi sudionici konferencije zaista uživaju, lijepo se osjećaju. Evo danas su nam naše gospođe potvrdile da su imale prekrasan izlet u Trogir i da su i one uživale kao što smo i mi uživali u ovom radnom dijelu konferencije. Ja bih rekao evo da jedan od važnih naslova i pitanja o kojima smo raspravljali bilo je i ter, bile, bilo, bile su i terorističke pjetnje kao najveća opasnost svjetskoj sigurnosti i stabilnosti, ali i druge različite ugroze koje stvaraju državni i nedržavni subjekti koje prijete svjetskom miru i gospodarstvu. Države šalice NATO-a, pa tako i Republika Hrvatska, jedinstvene su u stavu da se borba protiv terorizma mora nastaviti i da na taj način podižemo i postižemo sigurnost naših građana na višu razinu i spriječavamo posljedice od terorizma i ostalih sigurnosnih ugroza kao što su migracije stanovništva, zatim stvaranje novih konflikata i sukoba među državama i pojava novih nestabilnosti. Ja vjerujem da djelovanjem na izvorištu tih nestabilnosti mi povećavamo sigurnost i stabilnost u svojim državama, odnosno u našem savezu i u čitavom svijetu. Mi smo kao država izrazili dalje i posvećeni smo zajedničkoj borbi protiv svih kreatora nestabilnosti u svijetu zajedno sa svojim saveznicima i partnerima. Dokaz za to je činjenica da smo angažirani u šest operacija i misija potpore miru, od čega su dvije vođene od strane NATO saveza, a evo spremamo se i sudjelovat ćemo u ovoj najnovijoj NATO-voj inicijativi da se ojača raspored NATO-vih snaga na istočnim granicama Saveza. Time jasno pokazujemo da smo spremni poduprijeti sva ta načela na kojima počiva NATO Savez, a to znači da je napad na jednog saveznika ujedno napad i na sve zemlje članice Saveza. Mi kao Republika Hrvatska i naravno oružane snage Republike Hrvatske i dalje ostajemo posvećeni načelima solidarnosti i jedinstva Saveza, i predana članica Saveza, ja bih rekao. Ja bih isto tako iskoristio priliku, Petar, hvala vama, hvala cijelom osoblju iz Brisela, koje je zajedno sa osobljem oružanih snaga, evo do sada, vrlo uspješno, po mojoj procjeni, organiziralo ovu našu konferenciju. Ostaje još večeras malo neformalnije druženje, isto tako u gradu Splitu, i sutra razgledavanje grada Splita i njegovih ljepota, prvenstveno Dioklecijanove palače i naravno ja se nadam, evo sretan povratak svih sudionika ove konferencije svojim domovima i NATO-ovog osoblja u Brisel. Evo, Peter, hvala još jedan put na svemu. Ok, this is the time for Q&A's. Maybe there are some questions. Lady, gentlemen, first row. Sorry. There, uh, Phil Stewart for Reuters. From Reuters, a question for General Pavel: uh, to, to what extent did uh, Syria come up in the in the meetings at all? Um, and do you believe that uh, the alliance can approach Russia from a position of strength, even as uh, its its largest military uh, works uh, cooperates with Russia on the battlefield in Syria? Uh, or do you believe that that would be a case of mixed messages? Thank you. The fact uh, that uh, we have uh, different foundations um, uh, with uh, Russia, uh, we have different views on many things, doesn't mean uh, that uh, uh, we can uh, entirely exclude any cooperation uh, with uh, Russia. 
there are obviously issues where we have uh, a common interest, and one of them is uh, uh, the fight against terrorism. It is uh, as painful uh, to uh, Russia as to any of our countries. So uh, to exchange uh, at the first stage uh, the intelligence uh, with uh, Russia uh, to uh, deconflict our activities in Syria uh, serves uh, not only uh, to all of us but also to uh, populations because we can avoid uh, uh, more damages on uh, civilian population. Uh, you know that uh, all uh, NATO uh, countries are uh, part of a uh, coalition against ISIL uh, in Syria and Iraq, uh, but NATO as an institution uh, hasn't been involved. Uh, this uh, will change uh, based uh, on the decision uh, made by heads of state and government in Wales, uh, and the deci decision was that NATO should uh, take greater part in uh, counterterrorism, not uh, in uh, direct uh, combat, but rather uh, in supporting all activities in uh, building local capacities uh, to deal with the problem of, of terrorism. So uh, we are now working on establishing a NATO uh, mission or activity in uh, Iraq uh, focused on institution building at ministerial level and uh, focused on training of, at the troop level uh, to assist uh, uh, Iraq uh, in uh, dealing with the problem of terrorism uh, with their own resources. The gentleman there, Gracia. Željko Valčić, Hrvatska radio televizija, pitanje baza obojcov generala. Gospodin Pavel je spomenuo KFOR i Kosovo kao jedan od jamaca, zapravo KFOR kao jedan od jamaca sigurnosti na Zapadnom Balkanu. Međutim, situacija u Bosni i Hercegovini je nestabilna Makedonija, mogu biti okidač, posebno sutrašnji referendum, tako se barem tvrdi, okidač za dodatnu nestabilnost. Razmišlja li Savez o mogućoj jačoj prisutnosti na Kosovu i eventualno Makedoniji, Bosni i Hercegovi? Situacija na Balkanu, u generalu, ne samo na Kosovo, je svojom biti absolutno stabilno. Tako da smo svoje svoje and it uh, was clearly uh, stated by uh, our heads of states and governments in Warsaw that uh, uh, Western Balkans especially is uh, still a potential uh, source uh, of uh, tensions and that uh, we have to pay uh, great attention uh, to the uh, situation there. Some of the leaders have even expressed uh, that uh, uh, Western Balkans and especially uh, uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina might be the next frontier uh, for uh, not only Islamic extremism but also for Russia and Russian influence in the region. So uh, we uh, pay great attention to uh, all the developments in the region. Uh, we deal with all the countries in the region. Uh, we stay committed uh, to uh, the partner, uh, partner cooperation. And of course, uh, the Chots, uh, the chiefs of defense today, have expressed uh, their uh, view that. Uh, mission in uh, Kosovo uh, should uh, be uh, and should remain conditions based. That means uh, before the conditions are met, not only in Kosovo itself, but in the region, uh, that, that the mission should continue uh, as it is today. Okay. Yeah. Što se tiče Bosne i Hercegovine, izrazili smo potporu putu Bosne i Hercegovine prema NATO-u i svim onim aktivnostima koje u tom smislu Savez poduzima, a kad je riječ o regiji, onda i dalje nastavljamo vrlo aktivno u okviru A5 ili Adriatic Charter, to je jedna regionalna inicijativa poduprta od strane Sjedinjenih američkih država, gdje evo Republika Hrvatska i Albanija kao članice NATO-a asistiraju i pomažu i Bosni i Hercegovini i Makedoniji i Kosovu da se što je moguće više i bolje pripreme za buduće članstvo, a najbolji primjer je Crna Gora koja evo kroz Adriatic Charter, kroz tu suradnju i kroz zajedničko sudjelovanje s nama u tim vježbama postala još malo pa puno pravna članica NATO Saveza. Ja sam novinar Hine Pejo Gašparević. Moje pitanje za generala Pavela je sljedeće. 
Vi ste spomenuli da se suočavamo sa sve većim brojem izazova koje imaju svjetske implikacije. Sad ste rekli, spomenuli ste rivalstvo Rusije i potencijalnog islamskog terorizma na Balkanu. Je li Balkan ta neuralgična točka koja može imati svjetske implikacije? Many, uh, many of regional issues uh, uh, have uh, uh, global implications, uh, and uh, especially uh, um, terrorism uh, is a global phenomenon. Uh, we uh, cannot limit it to uh, one, one region only. So uh, when we talk about um, potential uh, um, extension of influence uh, of uh, Islamic ex extremism uh, through uh, uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina, uh, uh, that means that uh, it is a concern of uh, the whole Europe because uh, n n not, not just the Balkans will be affected by that. And uh, uh, by extension, uh, um, if uh, Bosnia becomes a safe haven uh, for, uh, for uh, extremists, then uh, um, even uh, other uh, continents, including uh, North America, uh, will be concerned. So uh, it is uh, in, our, uh, in all our interests uh, that uh, uh, Bosnia uh, w will remain safe and will not become uh, such a haven. So um, we uh, really uh, pay a lot of attention uh, to the development of situation, uh, how uh, the moves of uh, extremists uh, are uh, changing, and uh, we'll obviously uh, uh, take uh, necessary measures uh, to prevent such a development. Uh, Jim Michaels, USA Today. Uh, General Pavel, I just wanted to uh, follow on the Iraq, uh, or excuse me, the Syria-Russia uh, agreement. Um, are you concerned that that agreement might confer a level of legitimacy on Russia uh, that may then um, uh, raise concerns among European countries that would prefer to um, confront Russia on a, on a number of other issues? In other words, w will it raise a level of legitimacy and perhaps undermine some of the cohesion in the NATO alliance? Thank you. It's, it, it's interesting that you say that um, some uh, uh, European nations may be concerned uh, more about confronting Russia than the U.S., but uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would say um, uh, we simply cannot uh, talk about and think about Russia in uh, black and white uh, uh, format. Uh, if uh, we say that uh, whatever um, sign of cooperation uh, could be translated uh, as a uh, uh, meltdown uh, and, uh, or uh, some rapprochement uh, with Russia or a sign of legitimization of Russia, then of course we uh, will have to exclude uh, all uh, cooperation, all the confliction. Uh, I believe uh, that uh, we uh, have to uh, stay uh, pragmatic, however, uh, um, stay also firm in our principles. So uh, wherever we'll identify that uh, there is a common interest, uh, we have to exploit it uh, uh, in a reasonable way. Uh, and um, an agreement uh, on a ceasefire in Syria uh, will probably be uh, um, explained uh, uh, by uh, the, the Russian propaganda as a sign of legitimization. But uh, from our side, it is uh, clearly a necessity uh, to facilitate the situation uh, of uh, civil population in Syria that uh, is desperately uh, in the need of humanitarian assistance. So uh, in that sense, I, I believe that uh, uh, such a behavior, such an agreement, uh, is, is well justified and uh, it needs to be uh, taken in context. General Pavel, Sofia Preljukic, Sanove TV. Imate li saznanja kakva se kretanja izbjeglica očekuju od jeseni preko našeg područja? I kakva su očekivanja od Hrvatske u tom smislu? I believe that uh, uh, Europe is now probably oversensitive uh, to uh, refugee issue. Uh, some nations uh, um, have uh, good reasons uh, to be very sensitive because they were subject of uh, a significant flow of migrants uh, last year. Some of the countries are facing a uh, reduced but still significant number of refugees um, even today. 
but uh, at the same time, uh, uh, there is uh, no imminent threat uh, of a huge wave of uh, migrants uh, uh, coming uh, from uh, Middle East uh, or from uh, North Africa, uh, which uh, would create a similar uh, wave uh, as uh, the last year. Uh, not only that uh, many measures have already been taken uh, in uh, Turkey, in Syria, uh, that allow uh, a lot of people uh, to come back uh, or to change their mind to uh, go to Europe. Uh, the flow will continue uh, from uh, North Africa until uh, uh, the security situation is unstable there. But uh, uh, a number of measures have been taken by the European Union uh, to uh, uh, put some regulatory measures uh, on uh, this uh, migration. So I do not expect uh, any uh, major wave uh, coming through a Balkan route. And uh, uh, if, it, if it happens, uh, then uh, uh, the migration flow is uh, primarily uh, the responsibility of the European Union rather than NATO. Uh, and it's not denouncing the responsibility by NATO. It's simply saying that uh, NATO has uh, uh, different tools in its disposal. And it's uh, difficult to imagine to use uh, combat ships or tanks uh, or, uh, or aircraft to stop uh, um, unarmed uh, refugees. Uh, unlike uh, NATO, EU is equipped with uh, all the necessary tools, um, uh, with uh, uh, proper facilities uh, and organizations. And NATO, if asked by the EU, uh, can uh, be uh, in assistance. I još ako mogu pitati, već smo danas pitali generala Šundova o odlasku hrvatskih vojnika, mislim, sljedeći godinu dana, prema granicama sa Ukrajinom, dakle u zemlje članice, gdje bi točno išla Hrvatska vojska i koliko bi ih bilo, što bi bila njihova uloga tamo? U svakom slučaju, naše opredeljenje je angažirati jednu ojačanu, mehaniziranu satniju koja bi početkom 2018. godine bila angažirana u sastavu njemačke borbene grupe koju predvodi Njemačka i bila bi raspoređena u Litvi. Evo, danas je održano nacionalno vijeće, uključujući predsjednicu koja je bila na njemu, dakle nacionalno vijeće Hrvatske. Da li se tamo čuo nešto što bi hrvatski građani trebali čuti, da li je na bilo koji način dovedena sigurno zemlje u pitanju? Bila je redovita sjednica vijeća za nacionalnu sigurnost i raspravljali smo, govorilo se o migranskoj krizi i o obvezama koje Republika Hrvatska preuzela na samitu u Varšavi, i to je sve. Very last question, maybe? Okay, then this concludes the... Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.